Although the level of technology and efficiency has increased, changing climate has become a rising problem for crop production around the world. Recently, there were cases of declining crop production in certain areas in the United States. The U.S. Agricultural Department states that 2012 had the lowest production of corn since 2006, and with soybean at its lowest production rate since 2003. The average production of 120 bushel per acre in 2012 shows a decrease by almost 20 percent from the year before. Furthermore, they have revealed that the corn production will decrease by 30 percent in the next six years. Since corn is a staple food in the United States, and there were many other usages such as creating fuel and feeding farm animals, the declining production of corn had been a detrimental problem to the people in the United States. Climate change, whether it is human-induced or natural, has an immense impact on agriculture. Crops have very narrow, optimal growing conditions. Deviations from these conditions can result in crops that are low in yield and nutrition. For example, corn has an optimal growing temperature from 68 to 73 degrees Celsius, only a 5 degree range, and it has an optimal moisture range from 0.25 to 0.35 inches per day, only a 1 inch per day range. It has been proven that human-produced greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide increase global temperatures and decrease rainfall. Just in the last century, the Earth's temperature has gone up by 1.33 degrees Celsius, and Yet humans still continue to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere at an exponential rate. Also, as the Earth's temperature increases, polar ice caps start to melt, reducing the salinity levels of the ocean and messing with the Earth's water cycle. This leads to less rain, and as stated before, crops are very sensitive to the levels of rainfall. In India, there has been a 13% decrease of rainfall since last year. Dramatic increase in price of staple foods will occur due to the declining crop production. In 2010, the price of 16 food items in supermarkets of Washington have increased by 2%. Corn production in 2012 increased 63% since the year before, reaching an all-time high in mid-2012 of $8.5 a bushel on the Chicago Board of Trade. This increase in price of staple foods will result in child malnutrition. The International Food Policy Research Institute. Or IFPRI found that the shortage from the food crisis and global economic slowdown could result in long-term irreversible nutritional damage for developing country consumers, especially children. The prediction made by them tells that child malnutrition may rise by 18 percent by the middle of this century. Moreover, the global per capita calorie consumption will be 5 percent lower in 2020. While in sub-Saharan Africa, consumption will be 10% lower. This shows the disparities between poor and periphery nations, and scarce resources are not being distributed around the world. The researchers in IFPRI also revealed that the warming of even one degree by 2050 may cause destruction, with hotter weather temperatures cutting crop yields. On a national level. Countries can help reduce climate change by investing in green technology, like electric vehicles and composting toilets. Also, re- reducing the reliance on fossil fuels will decrease the amount of greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere. There are many ways to produce electricity without burning fossil fuels, such as solar power, wind power, and hydropower. These are examples of renewable sources, which do not run out, unlike fossil fuels, in which there is a finite supply of. Already, 70% of the EU's power installments of 2011 consisted of renewable sources. On the individual level, one could help reduce climate change by biking, carpooling, or taking public transport, which all use less gasoline than a personalized trip in a car. Also, buying local goods can help reduce the amount of fossil fuels burned for transportation. And lastly, Saving energy reduces the amount of fossil fuels because fossil fuels needed need to be burned to produce the energy. To save energy, one could turn off the lights when they are not using the area, change the light bulbs and electronics to energy-saving ones, and use a fan instead of an air conditioner. An air conditioner wastes more electricity than any other electrical appliance. It accounts for 16% of all electricity used in a household.